Welcome to Friday! We are finally doing an off the box Friday again! Um, every Friday, almost every Friday, not lately, I choose a recipe that I find off the box of a product in the grocery store that brands and businesses are putting on the boxes for us regular folk to see and try. But we often ignore those recipes until now because now I try them. I have one hour. My kids are gonna be home in one hour and I really want to complete this, but I have quite a difficult task ahead of me. You might recall that I recently did the Lipton recipe secrets. What was it, like the beef flavor? They're like these little pouches of secret seasonings. And I liked all the recipes on that box. So I was like, oh, now I need to try the onion box and all the recipes on this. And again, there are three recipes, but only two pouches in the box. So I had to buy a second box. However, my arm's getting tired. Fred Meyer was out of the Lipton brand. Of course, they had their own Kroger brand. How convenient. Um, so they ha I ordered it and they had replaced that one with this one. So we're just gonna use this one for the third recipe and you better pull through Kroger. This is your time to shine. I know you're wondering what's on the back of the Kroger box of seasoning and it's just soup. What we'll be enjoying today are these delicious recipes. Onion roasted potatoes, classic onion dip, and best ever juicy burgers. They seem kind of simple, um, but they seem like if you put them all together it would make one full meal deal. So I want to try to make all of it before my kids get home from school and they can just walk home and have dinner at 3 p.m. Why not? Sorry about the lighting change, okay? I was in front of the natural light in the window. I should have just done it in this yellow light the whole time because then it would be consistent at least, but ugly, so. <laughs> Oh, well, excuse me, I spoke too soon. Kroger has more recipes on the packages. Well, 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 Lipton. Who needs to take notes from who now? This onion dip requires onion soup mix and sour cream. This one requires onion soup mix and sour cream. Somebody's copying. Okay, I think the onion roasted potatoes is gonna take the longest. We're gonna do those first. Then we're gonna do the burgers, then the onion dip. Okay, let's go. Ow! Gotcha. Gotcha! You go prank! You guys look gorgeous. Get in there. You're in a hurry. A third cup of olive oil and one envelope of Lipton recipe secrets onion soup mix. Shh. It's a secret. Do, 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 do. Okay. Okay, 425, 35 minutes. Okay, next we have our best ever juicy burgers. That is quite a statement. Combine mayo, ground beef, breadcrumbs, Lipton recipe secrets, onion soup mix in a large bowl, and shape them into eight patties. Ew. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. My kids are gonna come inside and, and it's just gonna smell so good. And they're gonna be like, mom, you're that mom and you made us food. And I'm gonna be like, I am that mom. Also, I had to make a YouTube video. You know how moms do. Grill or broil until done. Arrange them on your bun. Excuse me. Now for our dip, we need an envelope of Lipton recipe secrets and one contain one 16 ounce container of sour cream. That is so easy. Looks like dip. We have five minutes. The burgers are done. The clam dip is done, or the onion dip is done. We're just waiting on those potatoes. Look at that. I thought we would try the dip before they get here. I was afraid it was gonna just taste like sour cream. It doesn't. Tastes like dip. That's good. Dip, five stars, yes. Okay, I pulled our potatoes out. I don't think they're as pretty as the picture. I don't really like potato wedges. If I'm gonna eat a potato wedge, it has to be thin. It has to be dipped in ketchup. It has to be from McDonald's. It has to be a french fry, okay? I would give that maybe two, two or three stars. We've got our potato wedges. We've got our best juicy burger ever, and we've got our onion dip. I nailed it in an hour. Dinner is served at three o'clock. All right, I'm gonna take a bite of somebody's burger and we're gonna find out if it is the best, most juicy burger. It tastes like meatloaf. I like meatloaf, but I don't think a burger should taste like meatloaf. It's good. I wouldn't call it juicy so much as it has like that a moist, mushy consistency that feels like it, maybe it wasn't cooked all the way through, but it's definitely cooked all the way through. But if you're going for a burger, that is meatloaf. <laughs> 
in a bun. I don't know, four stars? I'd say the, the dip turned out the best. That's my number one uh, recipe. Number two is the burger because I do like meatloaf. Put it on a button, I don't care. And number three, Ugh, the potato wedges. I wasn't a huge fan of those. So first, second, and third place, there you go. Have a good weekend. So you just had a chip. I didn't even cook the chips. That's onion dip. Will you take taste it? Thanks for the burger. It's like dip. Yes. And it's a winner for Lena. I know I ate his entire burger, all his chips. I would say this is a win of a dinner. Good job, guys.